everyone and welcome to Crabworks. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cube card. So it stands up like this. It folds flat for posting. I would use a square envelope for this, maybe uh, five and a half inches by five. And you will use one sheet of Balmy Blue for this. So let's just get started i'm using the brand new berry cute i will pop the links in the description so if you want to order this set it is just the cutest but mainly today i'm using the designer series paper so i've cut images out and that's just the only stamp that we're using today because the the paper is just so pretty you can make all kinds of cards with it let me just show you real quick. So this here is part of the designer series paper. So you can literally let this paper do the hard work for you. I mean, it's just so pretty. These are the sort of cards that I would buy at Christmas. I love the polar bears. And you can have a simplified version like this one or add a piece of your sparkly twine and add a bit of bling. So let's just get started. So I have a sheet of Barney Blue and we need to extend the arm on this. So I need this to be eight and a quarter, which I believe is our standard cardstock. So eight and a quarter by eight inches. And then on the eight and a quarter side, okay, we are going to score at, let me just move my ink pads out of the way, I've got a whole stack of them there. Might as well just do that way around. On the eight and a quarter inch side, I am scoring at two inches, four inches, six inches and eight and that gives us a quarter of an inch glue strip I'm now going to turn it and I am going to cut at two inches and another at two inches So I actually find it easier to glue these together and then add the strips. The reason being is I like to hide the fold. So just bear with me, I will power off my mobile phone. So this is how we're going to do this. So we are going to fold and burnish first. This should be a very quick and easy card. It is really easy. The decorating is probably the longest bit. So pop our glue along that side there. Close that flat like so and do the same for all of our other pieces Ooh. fold that flat again fold that flat and these are our little cubes so for our designer series paper we need 
eight pieces that measure one and a quarter by one and a quarter and four pieces that measure one and three quarters sorry these are one and three quarter square and these are one and three quarters by three and three quarters so I'm going to pop one in here to hide my score uh, my, my join sorry my join this is probably the toughest one to do but there's really no other way to do it so I'm just trying not to get my head in the camera and just line that up so that's our join done then we're going to turn it we're going to put another one inside here the back side is really pretty too and then line that up as best as we can and then the other is going to go here on the front as I'm gluing I do realize that I'm taking it off screen so this one here and then this one here. And that's those pieces. And now we're going to do the same on these. So here is my join. in there try and get it quite square and then this one will go up the back Ooh, hang on a second So now we've covered all of our boxes, all we're going to do is with the join at the back, we're going to glue these pieces directly onto here. So you need to line up the bottoms and that's that one on. And then the same again on this side. And we're pushing it right up against it. there is our cube card so now what we need is I've taken an image off of the designer series paper okay and I 
am just going to use tiny little scraps of paper for this and this is how we fix our images okay so it doesn't have to be particularly straight so I'm folding this in half and I'm going to glue that there I'll make the other one the same size and fold that in half too So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue these back to back in the middle so this one is going there this one right up against it and I'm just going to set that aside just for a second because I want it to dry I'm going to get my balmy blue ink and my stamp for warm wishes I've got a piece of scrap paper Get my trimmer. Trim this down. From the blue, we have a piece left over from our card blank. Then I'm just going to cut two tiny strips again. In fact, I'm going to go the longer way because I need to make the little hangy offy bits. Just glue this piece down here. Ooh. Fold that piece in half. That piece in half. And then we want this in the middle as well, in the center. So you can measure, but I'm eyeballing all of this because I haven't measured the sentiment. I'm cutting to what I th uh, think looks okay. So set that one aside. Now what we're going to do is these two pieces here put glue on those make sure your image is around the right way and pop those like that so it all folds flat just double check it's straight and now we're going to pop a sentiment in here
exactly the same way. Uh, I can't see it. And there you have our cube card. Folds completely flat for folding, uh, posting. Cool. Thank you so much for joining me today. Bye.